What's up, what's happening, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Coburn Games. This should be the last part of the Infliction gameplay. Who knows? I thought the last part would be going to be the last part, but it wasn't. This one's going to be the last part, I hope. Yeah, more creepy sounds. That's locked. Oh, the Christmas tree is gone now. I'm not going that way either, I guess. Well, I guess the only place to go is upstairs. Which should be fine, I hope. Oh, great. Now where am I? This is just perfect. Oh yeah, let's go into the creepy corridor, you know. Never done this before. Is the elevator coming up or I'm just standing here uselessly? Oh, creepy. Click, click, click. Nope. Okay. I don't know the code. They didn't give me a code. Ten left, fifty right, five left, ten fifty five, ten left. 50 right, 5 left. So 10 left. Nope, that's not left. Oh, that's going to get annoying. Click, 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 click. 10 left. This is a terrible mechanic. Fifty. And all the way back to five. Awesome. What? I'm five. Oh my gosh. Now open that back up. I'm an idiot. There's nothing else to say, but I'm an idiot. Oh, the grandmother. Oh, 
Why am I being stabbed now? Could you stop, stop, stop doing that? Jesus. This lady is really bitter about something. Oh, it might be the fact that I killed her. Oh, yeah, can't forget about that. Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring them closer to your judgment. Gary's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. And she hates me for not standing up to him. She but right. now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. Yeah. I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. to burn the items in the fireplace would be my guess so that's where we'll head no pit stops no maneuvers we're going straight to the fireplace it's out why wouldn't it be all right, what about the basement? I had to guess. Yeah, we're not going that way. Let's go check the basement first. Oh, nope, basement's all locked up tight. That's always nice. That door's locked. It's super dark, which is always good. Glad there's a bathroom. Was those whipping winds acting up again? Stop talking. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I was only six months. Well, let's turn that off. There's a typewriter and the blood and some. Looks like I've been cleaning my deers off again. Candles always light the way. I broke it. I broke the game. My bad. somewhere I'm just trying to find stuff leave me alone
Could you quit with the creepy music, please? That'd be great. I've got my camera defense. What just happened? That was... Oh, uh, I'm possessed now? Hmm. Interesting. I don't like the fact that she can just possess me whenever she wants. Kind of seems like an invasion of privacy, but what do I know? I don't know where to go. Especially if she can just randomly possess me. Oh, that's a lot of crosses on the wall. Let's try not to get possessed this time. Oh, that cross is upside down. June 6, 1999. I'm in hell, and he's on his way there. I'm so weak, I can't even look at my own face in the mirror. The last time I did, I saw a twisted husk smiling back at me. I feel like his madness is rubbing off on me. I'm so afraid of him that I slept under the bed last night. That's a weird place to sleep. This needs to end, one way or another. You need in one way or another. Going to get us both some help tomorrow. I need to sort my life out and find Maggie. I haven't seen her in three years. Three years? I just hope it's not too late. It's never too Should late. Should have done this 13 years ago when it mattered most. I've done so much wrong. I lost my faith when Michael died, but it's time to repent for all my sins. At least in the end. She can be with her baby boy again.
Uh, I don't know where I got the bucket from. Now what do I do? Return to the scene of the crime. Must be that upstairs room. Please don't make me walk through there. Great, I'm possessed again. That's normal. I don't know what to do now that I'm possessed. Exercise her from yourself. Dang it. I didn't see that. And step. Darn it. That sucked. I love stabbing myself in the eye. How would you normally deal with her? Well, I'd take a picture of her. Hmm. So I gotta go back and burn the items. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now. Now we have to return to the scene of the crime, which is upstairs, and then I've got to exercise her, but I don't know how. She didn't possess me that time. That's easy enough. Oh, we're spreading ashes. She turned. I deserve worse. Is that what she said? I'm sorry. Leave this place. Last time you told me to leave this place, all hell broke loose. Last time I left was in a car. Is she gone? I'm about to worry about that still. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
about the old impenetrable bush. My biggest foe. Whoop, I guess back down to the creepy basement we go. I thought we were leaving. I, your eyes. I don't want them to have my eyes. I just want to go. Where are we now? Oh, I'm in hell. All you do is drink. Must be where I'm at. I uh, must be in hell. No other explanation for that. Yeah. I overestimated your comprehension skills. Hey, you're the guy on the phone. You finally get it. If you take your place, someone will be with you and we can begin now. Where's my place? Gang's all here. Clinton Cleary, good job. Great game. Wow, that was awesome. The whole bit of it. Man, that was good. Bravo, bravo, I do have to say, there's been a ton of horror games I've played in my time, but this right here is one that really made me anxious throughout the whole thing. I'm just curious if there's anything at the end, that's why I'm stalling. Just the whole atmosphere, the whole game was great. Guys, if you want to check it out, it's not very much on Steam. You want to try to play it through yourself? Maybe you'll do better than me. I kept getting stomped in the face a lot throughout this entire game. Yeah, thanks to the Kickstarter backers, too, man. <laughs> B 
Boomaster. That name sticks out to me. Don't know why. Guys, I love indie games. If you have any suggestions for more indie games that are out there, please, please, please let me know. I'd love to play them. Man. Edge of the seat. The whole time. I want everybody to get their credit for this. They got it. People got to watch this. Earthbound X5. See, it started out real simple names, and now it's like crazy names. My only complaint about the game was the fact that uh, it was real hard. The AI of the ghost lady was real wonky. It kind of got less scary as far as her just running in randomly and stomping my face or any of that. But other than that, man. Guys, if you've enjoyed this series, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, watch it all, watch from one. Well, there's a lot of more Kickstarter backers than I thought there was going to be, so I'll talk to you all for just a little bit longer. To all those that have stuck with me through this time, thank you so much. We've had a lot of fun. I'm at 38 subscribers currently as we're talking about this video. Without you guys, I've got nothing. I'm bringing a passion of video games out to the community. Uh... I also enjoy playing a lot of indie games. I feel like indie developers don't get as much love as they should. Like this game here. I am I just happened to browse through Steam one day and found it. After watching a YouTube video, I was like, man, I'm going to have to try it. Made by the Unreal Engine. So I feel like indie developers deserve a lot of love because they put a lot of effort into this stuff. Caustic reality. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of infliction guys if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the bell you'll know when i upload I upload every tuesdays thursdays or sorry thursday friday and saturday and starting after the first of the year i'll be uploading on sundays all around 5 p.m stay frosty guys we'll see you next time bye